There's a team fighting climate change with an untapped energy source that saves money, clears the air, and even warms your bath. We're at Chena Hot Springs. I'm Bernie Carl, and uh, here's Bert and Ernie. There are goats. <laughs> Alaska has more geothermal energy than all the states put together. But yet, Chena Hot Springs is the first geothermal power plant in the state of Alaska. Gwen Holden is Bernie's chief engineer for energy projects. I'm pregnant with uh, twins right now. That's right, six months pregnant. Gwen's main job with Bernie was exploring the potential of the Chena Hot Springs themselves. What people were saying was that the 165 degree Fahrenheit water that we had wasn't high enough for generating power. Your typical geothermal plant is operated at 250F or greater. So you're li really looking for very hot water or even steam. I knew that I could make electricity from this water. And I brought in a drill rig and I started drilling a well over here. Before long, Bernie and Gwen did a successful test. At the same time, way back in Connecticut, giant manufacturer UTC Power was working on the same solution. We needed 165, 200 degree water. When you go to Chena Hot Springs, there's 165 degree water coming out of the ground. That's where Bernie Carl comes in. Now this power plant is making power off of water that's not as hot as McDonald's coffee. We developed lower temperature technology, so you don't have to go after 300 or 400 degree water or steam. This is working. We're doing it. I mean, the lights are on right now geothermally. Now we're going to enter the largest ice structure in the world to be up all summer. Now Forbes magazine voted this the dumbest business idea of the year. Mr. Forbes can kiss my ass. This entire structure is kept cold geothermally. It cost me about $12 a day to refrigerate this place. If you did it on diesel fuel standard, it would be $750 a day. It's the cheapest thing going. Our electricity was costing us 30 cents a kW. Right now, we're at 5 cents a kW. In three to four years, we'll be one penny per kilowatt hour. We'll have the cheapest energy in the state of Alaska. People say, where do you stand on global warming? I said, well, if someone thinks there's not global warming, then they must have their head up their ass. I said, if you pull your head out and open your eyes, you'll notice the glaciers are melting you will notice that the sea ice cap is almost gone. So, do you think there's global warming? Yes, there is. Do I think man is causing global warming? I think that we add to it. Do I think we're causing it? No. But that doesn't make any difference. I want clean water and I want clean air. And that's so simple. Usually what I get is people say, well, why hasn't this been done before? I don't know. I have no idea. If I can do it here, maybe it'll catch on to the other 230 villages in Alaska. And maybe if it catches on there, what if it starts catching on in the towns? What if everybody caught on? What if they did it because it made sense in their pocket? What if they had more change at the end of the day for being responsible? What about that? <laughs> 